Hi everyone, so welcome back to day 6 of Vlogmas, it's the 5th of December for me here right now. It is late, it is, must be around quarter past 8 at the moment. Um, this is the first time I've been able to get on record and actually talk to you all. Um, <clears throat> I have filmed a few little bits today, went out shopping this morning, um, me and Buddy waits in the car and you'll have seen a little clip like that. I was going to speak to you there and welcome you into the vlog, but there was um, a group who were collecting with buckets outside of the supermarket and they did have music playing. I'm not complaining, it was lovely and cheerful and it really, you know, helped keep me entertained and it was lovely to listen to while waiting in the car, so I'm not complaining about that at all. Just I don't want to put um, it on here because okay yes i'm not monetized um as a channel but if you get so many copyright strikes you can get banned i believe so not gonna chance it but yeah it was lovely um and i did go through my purse found out what i had and see what i could give them uh but yeah anyway uh it's been a bit of a weird day so i've done all the christmas cards i've gone out and delivered them all um so that's something that's been taking for ages it's like i've done one wrote them all out and two i've then start had to go around the place delivering them because a lot of them I'm hand delivering um because they're not far of a walk but it's still you know a bit of a trek when you're doing them all at once uh, so I've done that and then my head's just been in a bit of a pickle because I got a letter this morning off gastro um I, I got referred to them at the beginning of the year and um seen them in I want to say it was June I saw them and they said they needed to do a colonoscopy to get a clear idea of what's actually going on. They think they know sort of what it is. My GP thinks it's one thing. The the uh, people at gastro think it's another thing. I don't have a clue. They're not going to be able to tell which is which, what way it is until they do the colonoscopy. But they have ruled out quite a few things like celiac and stuff like that and an infection. So, yeah, um, basically... Yeah, I've been waiting for this uh, scan now for since June and I got told it could be up to a year wait and, you know, my symptoms are just getting progressively worse and I had just no idea of when I was going to get seen. Uh, but this morning I got a letter and they said uh, it's my turn at the front of the queue. So I rung up, um, they've booked me in for next week. I am going at the crack of dawn. Um, that because with my autism and anxiety advice, if I'm sat there, sitting there all day on my own, letting it stew in my head and not being certain on what time I could go in, you know, because some appointments run over, so you could be going late, so they don't want to, they know that's going to cause me more stress and it's going to then be harder to do um, the scan and that, so they get me in for the first appointment of the morning, so, um, of the day, sorry. So, yeah, uh, that's next week, but... Um, just been quite unexpected and I've been running rushing around trying to get uh covering work uh, my work have been fabulous and they've told me yeah it's okay take the days off around it as well uh so yeah but anyway let's get on to the advents right. and I'm purposely trying to save the sticker and you'll see why so first one this is the my only corner one it's a lovely grey. Right. Now, grey. There's a lot of animals it could be. It could be like a rhino. It could be like a hippo, but some people do hippos more brown or more purple. There's elephants, which are like my favourite animal. So I, I hope it's an elephant. But then there's like sharks that are grey and birds that, that are grey. Seagulls have got grey better. So I don't know. I'm hoping it's an elephant, but what I hope and what I get are two different things but yeah that's nice and it is it's really mixing up the colours a bit now in that blanket which I love um that it's mixed up the colours and then little sweetie I'll have that in a bit and here we are right do, 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 do. and this one's off Mandy from Mouse's Makes let's see what this one is <gasps> white and purples with like flecks of like pink and 
blue in it oh my gosh it's gorgeous some flecks up there I don't know whether it's doing justice that is absolutely beautiful they are two beautiful colors and they say i mean I've, I've loved the colors all the time but i think it's really gonna break up the colors that we've already got because we've got quite a few similar colors repeating um so that's great so i've actually finished the white square that I was working on today and i've done that last one so i'm now starting on the next row um one of these i think maybe the gray will go down here um but it also actually helps with the triangulum because when i'm putting the triangulum together i want it to be two completely different colors in there so you can actually tell it's made up of triangles so i've got that's one that is one this one i was going to pair up with the blue that one I was going to pair up with the lilac and these two i didn't have one that I was going to pair up for because they're too similar um and the two you know i'm trying to put in at least yeah that's it so you know they'll go nice with them too so yeah so excited i'm gonna get uh working on that now well i'm actually gonna work on the training game one kit because i don't want to start uh setting up the yarn stuff to do all this but what i thought I just had this idea earlier on tear the numbers off the bags right and then when i wind them up clip the numbers to the yarn so then i know what number they are and i'm not having to take pictures and try and remember what common sense if i had it i'd be dangerous anyway i'm gonna go and see you with hopefully some of the triangle i'm done as well so I'm just getting ready for bed now, believe it or not. It's been a bit of time that's passed since I last spoke to you. Um, watching some football, watching some TV and stuff like that. But I have finished a third of, get the young tails out of the way, a third of another hexagon. So if I hold it up here, you'll sort of see what it's going to be like. And the other half will go across there. This bit is still pointing out quite a bit. I'm hoping maybe as I add the other two on, it'll settle down a bit more. If not, it's just going to have to be a case of blocking them all um, out really well. But yeah, um, made up with how it's going on. I know I'm going to end up falling behind with this because I'm already behind. I've not, this is day one, one hexagon a day. So I know I'm already like behind and I'm not going to get caught up with this over Vlogmas um so yeah what i'm gonna do is basically just focus on making sure i'm getting everything in the battenberg blanket getting all that added in each day staying on track with that um and then working on this whenever i finish a piece on there and i think another thing about me doing that is that i can make sure that the colors aren't too similar as the lining up next to each other uh because yeah i've um i don't like i want you to be able to see the triangles that make each hexagon i want that to be able to stand out really well so i don't want to put like two shades of purple together um or two shades of blue or one that's like you know i've got one that's like pink and blue and putting that with another pink that go like is really similar to pink in it so i think yeah if i hold if i just do this whenever i finish the other blocks and then i'll be able to get it done like that uh so yeah i think that is going to be the plan and getting it forward with that um the idea is that i need to get the try and get the um these blankets finished as soon as i can within the new year because when i do get back into the new year i want to try and get as much of my whips down as possible i've made a list of all the whips i've got going all the ones that are hibernating and i've made the, and note them and yeah um before i start things that are new in the new year i'm getting them finished first i'm not doing anything new i know it, and i know it's tempting because the patterns i've got that i'm like i really want to do that i really want to do that but no i'm getting stuff finished first there are things that I'm not going to be able to finish, like, you know, the uh, Cozy Memory Blankets. That's going to be an ongoing project. Um, and, yeah, uh, stuff like, you know, my my book blanket, that's going to be an ongoing project. But I need to catch up because I'm on, uh, I'm on, I think I've done 10, maybe 15 squares at the most. And I've 
I've now read 50 books. So yeah, I've got a lot to add on to that one. Um, but saying that, like I've been doing quite a few of the centres. Like, so say if I'm doing um, a centre for one book and it's white, then all the other centres that I, because I've made a note of all the colours that I'm using for each book, because sometimes when I finish a book, it goes back to a library or I've got it on my, I borrowed it on my Kindle and stuff like that. So I don't necessarily have the physical book to look at the colours anymore. Um, so what I do is I make a note of the colours that I'm going to use for the centre, petals and the border. Um, and yeah, so like if I'm doing a white centre and I'm like, and I notice that I've got like another four centres that are going to be white, I'll do them all there and then. Uh, so that's helping with a bit. But yeah, anyway, that's, that's what I've been so yeah that's what i've got up to glad to finally have a bit more of that done um yeah and tomorrow i've got to get catched up i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow i don't know whether i'm gonna go to the knit and that i hopefully i can because i really want to go but we'll have to see where the day takes us so yeah anyway i'm gonna get going i hope you're all having a wonderful evening let me know if you've been up to anything good recently getting into the festive spirit i love to hear what you've all been up to Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.